Hi everyone, welcome back to Just A Girl and Her Wigs. My name is Heather and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Today I have on a style by Henry Margu. It is called Riley. This color is 82733H. That is a medium brown with a gold blonde and strawberry and auburn highlights. Anyways, a uh, beautiful color. It has a uh, lace front, a center monofilament part, and this style weighs 4.4 ounces. And um, I know sometimes when I think about uh, measurements and I, and I look at a wig and I was like, wow, that's four ounces. That might seem heavy, um, but for me, I... When I have it on, I don't feel like it's super heavy. Um, and I guess if you know me, um, you know that I don't wear um, long styles. I'm more of a, you know, short to medium length, um, curly style wearing kind of girl. Anyways, um, I put this wig on and I fell in love with it. It's beautiful. I think it has styling options because you do have that lace front. And although you have a center monofilament part, I will tell you that I feel like the lace front is deep enough and the, monofil the center monofilament part is wide enough that you can move or adjust that, um, that center part a little bit. So it's not going to be directly in the center. So if you like this style, but you do not think you can carry or pull off a center monofilament part, just know I think you can move that, um, that center part a little bit to the left or to the right, so it's not going to be directly in the center. I will go ahead and spin, and then I will show you what this lace front looks like. So this is my left-hand side. I will say that I love Henry Margu's lace fronts. I feel like they are so um, well done. They're beautiful. I never really truly feel like the uh, knotting is um, uh, very dark or that the knotting is big. So what I will do is I'll go ahead and show you the lace front on this. And I also feel like that I get a lot of uh, good coverage with this. Um, if you, if I, you've heard me talk before, you'll know that I am a petite to petite average circumference. So a lot of Henry Margu styles run large on me. Um, so then the ear tabs come down a little too low or come down and rest on my glasses. But I don't think that this one is terrible. The ear tabs are right here. Um, I will say I had to cinch this in in the back quite a bit. And when I take this off, you will see how far I had to cinch it in to accommodate my petite to petite average circumference in my head measurements. Like I said, it's a beautiful style. Absolutely gorgeous. This curl is, um, it reminds me of like a very gentle curl uh, slash uh, beach wave. So it's not super kinky curly. It is not just barely, I mean, just barely curly. On this piece that I'm reviewing, it just has like a nice, beautiful, gentle curl. And I will tell you a couple of things before I go further. You um, can buy two of the same wigs. So you buy the same color, the same style. And when you get those styles, they can be different. They might not look the same. The coloring can be a little different. Permatease can be a little different. Some, one of them might have more permatease than the other one. Um, the fit can be a little different. Um, the knotting, whether, you know, what, whether they bring the colors to the front, you know, how they alternate the coloring. Um, so just know that, just know that if you order two of the same color, even the curling or the curl pattern could be a little different. So just know that. So when I speak of the piece that I'm reviewing, I'm just speaking of the piece that I have right here in my presence that I'm talking about. And the other thing is, is 
not every style and color that I review or, or show you will be very flattering on me, but I like to bring uh, many options, um, color colors and uh, styles, so that way you can see what they look like. Um, so just know that. I know some things do not look very um, flattering on me, um, but I want to just show you what something looks like. So anyways, with that being said, the Wiggery is who I partnered with. I will leave their information below. They do have a private Facebook group. It's Wigs 101 by the Wiggery. I will leave that information below. Just know you just need to submit a request to join the private Facebook group. Um, and to talk about this wig more, um, Permatease, I feel like there is a very small amount of permatees. That permatease is right in through here. So it makes me feel like it is just right around that center monofilament part. There is a small amount of permatease at the crown. I do not feel that it's um, a lot, but there is some there. I really kind of feel like that that kind of gives it a little bit of a profile. It kind of makes it seem like it's so it's not going to just lay terribly flat to your head or to the cap. Um, so it's not overdone. And like I said, um, there is permatease, but it's just not a lot. The color is pretty. I do not see any visible permatease. That's why I was trying to give you a, a look at it on the top and on the sides. And what I'll do, um, before I show you, before I take it off and show you, I wanted to just say, I really think that you have a lot of styling options with this. And when I think about it, I think you could take this and pull this off of your head, off the forehead. And I think that would be very cute. I think if you want um, if you want it to appear like there's a little bit more volume, I think that would be very cute to do. Um, it kind of gives you a little bit of height. Um, and the lace front is beautiful. This would also keep the bangs out of your face if that's something that bothers you. So you do have that option as well. Um, with this one, I didn't really have to do anything to it. I just kind of pushed it back. But it kind of already had a sloop to it. Or, you know, it wanted to just kind of part over and go over to the sides. So anyways, let me take it off and show you. Earlier I had said that I had to cinch it in. So you will notice that the... Um, the Velcro adjusters are cinched in. Like I said, that's Velcro. You have your extended nape. It's soft material. There's your tags. A machine made area right here. It's all open. You have a closed ear tab, soft uh, metal stay. Show you the front. Here is that center monofilament part, and there is the lace front. When I talk about how wide it is, I feel like that that's wide and that's kind of deep right in that area. And so that way, that would allow you to part this, you know, left or uh, right of the center. So I feel like you have that option there. And the um, lace front, it goes down into the ear tab. Very nice, very pretty. And before I put it back on, I will just um, give you a look. That's the top. Just so you can get an idea of the coloring. I really feel like this is a very attractive color. Um, I feel like that it is um, blended well. Just an all around beautiful color. Very nice. 
you could um, use a little bit of product on this. I would just make sure that the um, product that you're gonna be using is for a synthetic fiber. This is not a heat friendly style. Um, it's not human hair, so just make sure whatever product that you wanna use, just make sure it's safe for the fiber so that that doesn't run the, the hair piece. You could put some, you could pin this back if you wanted to on one side. You could probably pin it back on this side too depending on how you want to style it. And you don't have to pin it back. If it's if the this area doesn't bother you, you don't have to pin it back. And um, I know I've, always, I've often talked about the fact um, that I run hot a lot. I do not feel that this would make me um, overheat or hot. I will test that uh theory out <laughs> when it gets warmer outside right now we're still in the spring months so we're hovering around between 40 50 some days it's 60 degrees but um when it gets nice and hot outside when it's up in the 90s i will test that theory out and see if this makes me hot but at the current moment it doesn't seem like it would make me run hot it is a gray style it um it might seem that it weighs a lot, but it doesn't weigh a lot. And I don't think that the permatees is overdone or pillowy. Again, if you um like this video, please um give me a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment or share. Um if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I will be bringing more content in the near future. Um, again, I will leave the Wiggeries information below in this um, description box. And um, I hope you all have a great day. My name is Heather. This is Just a Girl in Her Wigs. And if you want to check out photos of this style, please check out my Instagram at Just a Girl in Her Wigs. Girl is G U R L. Also, if you join or have joined the um, private Facebook group, you can see uh, photos there as well. Anyways, have a great day. Thanks for watching. And um, until the next time, bye for now.